thing. Hey, Bob McNeil, you're normally located in uh, Seattle. We know each other for a long time. Uh, where are you currently located? We're in uh, Ketchum, Idaho, which is part of the, the uh, Sun Valley Ski Resort uh, area. Yeah. So how are things there with Corona? Is, uh, is, are things shut down or is everybody having fun and, having, and going to ski? Yeah, everything shut down. Everything, including all the resort, the hotels, all the bars. The only thing that's open is the grocery store. Even the pharmacy only does curbside deliveries. Uh huh. What about churches? Are they still allowed? No, nothing. Okay, nothing. So, and how is the thing going with Corona there in that in that little neighborhood of yours? It's it's mostly second home, uh, rich rich Americans. Uh, there. Well, the north the north end of the the north end of the valley is mostly second home. Uh, either retired people, um, a lot of them retired from the recreational industry, or very rich people that just have a giant second home. A lot of celebrities have second homes here. Yeah, and that's why you are there, of course, uh, Bob. And uh, are there many uh, corona patients and uh, many deaths uh, there? Or um... it is it the um, percentage of people with the or the per capita um infection rate here is the highest in the country no it's higher than new york and higher than italy really in the county yeah and do they have an explanation for that well i think my explanation is that they started testing early and often uh -huh. so i think they actually just have better data than most people <laughs> yeah we in Holland have 12,000 cases and we think we have about 20% of them. So it's about 70,000 in reality. So you probably yeah. are much closer to the real number. And I think there's what, 300 or something? Something like that this morning. I think it jumped up another 90 or something yesterday. Okay. But, um, so it's not very many, 300, and I think there are only two or maybe three deaths. Okay. But, but there's only, I think there's only like 6,000 people in the county. Okay, so, so that is quite a bit, 5%, yeah. Yeah, okay. so it's a pretty big ratio, but. Um, yeah, but you think it's, it's normal big data. What about uh, Seattle, where you're, uh, where you're from? How are things there? You know, we haven't been there for a while, for a few months, so I'm not really sure, just talking to my crew there. But, um, you know, it's very locked down, I know all of the restaurants are closed. The only thing they're doing is either deliveries um, or some takeouts. Some of the biggest restaurant chains, the big local restaurant chains, I just saw some news from one of them. Um, it's basically said he's, you know, he's got like, what, how many restaurants? I don't remember, but they're pretty high end restaurants. He basically said they're broke. They're probably never going to come back. Or if they do, it's going to be really, really small. Um, it's, that is really terrible. But what about this horrific traffic you have with uh, Amazon and Microsoft and that kind of stuff? How is traffic now in Seattle? As near as I, from what I hear, you can go anywhere in five minutes that used to take two hours. Okay. You know. And you're a software company, you make design software. How, um, where, how are you, how is your company doing? We're doing, we're doing fine so far. I mean, it's been surprising actually. We're, uh, this first quarter was just slightly better than the same quarter last year. Um, I don't, I can't imagine it's going to be the same going forward. Mm -hmm. um, but what we are seeing is a lot of, um, a lot more student and school orders have picked up dramatically in the last um, few weeks. Uh huh. People have time for new things. Yeah. 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 And our, our support questions that we're getting are um, a little bit harder, too, because people have more time to... Um, yeah, so do you think if we uh, get out of this in another, another three months or four months or four, six months, do you think uh, this, this, uh, never, they say never spoil a bad crisis? Will, they, uh, will there positive things come out of this? Well, there's a lot of interesting things, obviously. Um, 
you know, I mean, we're all learning how to do things remotely or from home or, you know, without driving or traveling, you know. So, you know, if nothing else happens, maybe the price of oil will stay down around $20. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure that's good for, for our um, clientele in the Middle East and some other uh, parts of the world. But um, no, I think it's, it's interesting. It's, it's uh, retooling a lot of different things. It'll be interesting as we learn how to take advantage um, what's, what's really possible, what'll, what'll actually survive as opposed to just um, something we had to do that was a little bit awkward and it was kind of like, oh, now we don't have to do that anymore. Yeah, to, like, like buildings. You have a lot of, you have five buildings as a company. Uh, I mean, nobody's there. Uh, how is productivity and how do people like it? Yeah, I mean, so far it hasn't changed that much. Um, I mean, literally before about more than half of our people were from home anyway. And even the people that came in the office probably worked from home half of the time as yeah. well. So, <clears throat> I mean, like in Seattle, we have a, an office meeting with the development team in the office once a week. And that's, that's when most of the people show up. But half of our development team's not in the office. So then it's like, yeah. you know, whether you were you're there already, physically or online, it's, yeah. it's all the same anyway. Yeah. So it's just more like now it's 100% and you can see how that goes. And uh, yeah, yeah. People still like it. Uh, so you've been in lockdown there um, how, how many weeks now? We were trying to figure that out. I think it's like four or five weeks. Okay. Are you at each other's throat yet, or are you uh, having the, the second um, relationship uh, honeymoon? Well, it turns out we've been, we've been trying this experiment for the last uh, couple of years of coming over here during ski season. And it's just the two of us, basically, yeah. working here. Um, anyway, so we ski an hour or two a day and then come back home and work. And so in some ways it hasn't changed except we're just hiking now because of the ski hills, you yeah. know, closed. So that's good too. So yeah. every day crazy measurements are taken and you see and things are being done which I've never done before. Uh, what surprised you the most uh, in these last couple of weeks? I guess the thing that surprised me the most actually just from the physical impact on us or just the direct impact on us i should say is the business hasn't fallen off at all um yet yeah and so i'm kind of i guess i'm still anticipating that it will and so <laughs> that makes me a little bit anxious you know it's kind of like yeah. you know standing on the edge of a pool or something and deciding what it trying to anticipate what it's going to be like <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be cold well, when you jump in. Yeah, well, I see that uh, the United States does a very good job in uh, getting to the edge uh, very, very quickly and uh, having tens, tens of millions of unemployed and really going, uh, going for it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. everything America does, they do very intensive, uh, intensive. And you certainly did this coronavirus as a country quite happy. Yeah. Do you have trust that you um, that you that you will cover from it and that they will eventually do the right things and they will cover? from where you're sitting there? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, so much of it's local now. I mean, you know, obviously you see a lot of uh, stuff happen in, the, um, you know, the national news and all that stuff. But if you look at Seattle, for example, with, with the companies that are based there, whether it's Amazon or Microsoft, and, you know, you go down the list, Boeing's the other big one of the big ones there, but the software companies obviously, you know, they're completely global. So even though they're local companies, their business may or may not be impacted so much by what's happening nationally. Yeah, it's more like what's going to happen to that industry, and the same is true with Boeing, for example. Obviously, they've got. They've got a bigger problem. 
probably uh, to recover, but um, the rest of it is, you know, the support economies around those, those big businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I think, you know, for the most part, locally, I don't think I'm too concerned, you know, but then you hop around the country and you look at what Detroit or something, what do you, how do you even think about that? That's like a different country from, from Seattle. New York uh, is also uh, quite something at the moment. And New York, of course, is a whole different country. Yeah. Right. And yeah, you, you guys are a bunch of different countries altogether. Yeah, well, you're going so to now, uh, you said you had to go, so I'm, I'm saying bye bye. You're going to have a social party with a bunch of friends? Some friends, yeah. Um, they're in the wine industry, so I think they're doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, how are you going to meet them? On Zoom. Yeah, <laughs> all the social parties are on Zoom too. <laughs> so yeah. that's the difference. Well, have a nice party, Bob. It was nice yeah. to see you from Amsterdam. Yeah, nice to catch up. It's only been what, 15 or 20 years? 15 years. <laughs> yeah, nothing really changed. But now we're, we've done this, we'll see each other, we'll see each other a little bit more. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs>